Hi, Jonathan Pickup. Now I saw someone having trouble with changing the wall thickness. So in this movie we're going to look at what controls wall thicknesses, why are they there, and how do we edit the ones that we want. So let's get started. I've got some walls here, and these are metric walls, but the same thing will apply to imperial walls. And I'll just bring the shape across here so that we can see it more easily. So here we've got a wall which has got a thickness of 190 millimeters. That's about 8 inches, so I can change that to 200, and it changes straight away. It's a nice wall, it's unstyled, very easy to change. Now if it's a styled wall, then you'll find that there are more troubles. Now this wall looks identical to the first one, that it's still 190 millimeters thick, but you'll notice that I can't change the thickness, it's grayed out. Why is it grayed out? Because it has components in it. So if we click here, Components, it has a component which is 190 millimeters thick. If I delete that component, the wall doesn't change, but now you'll notice I can change the thickness of it, 200, and it changes, and I can change it back to 190. This wall has components, and it's got a couple of components, plus it's also an existing style. Here it is here, it's got a styled wall. If we look at the components, you'll see that there, there are several components. There's the lining on one side, there's the structure of the lining on the other. Now, if you were to change the thickness of this wall, which component would change? We don't know. And so that's why if you want to change this wall, you have to go into the components and change the components. The thickness of this wall here is the overall thickness of all of those components. Here's another wall. Let's zoom into this one. And you can see this has got something on the inside, and then it's got this. And if we have a look at these components again, you'll see it's got lining, it's got structure, it's also got lining. And this is an, an internal wall. This is a new internal wall. This is an existing internal wall. And I've colored them differently so that I can see them. But the same thing occurs. If I was to change the thickness, if I was allowed to change that thickness, which component would update? Which component would change? And that's why when there are components in a wall, you can't just change the thickness. If you want to make sure your walls are really flexible, make them unstyled to start with, and also don't have any components in them. Cheers. So if you enjoyed this movie, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. It really helps other people to find my movie. And please hit the subscribe button if you're not already a subscriber. And I'll notify you every time I update my movies on YouTube.